Hi artisans, how are we doing? It's Imala Wednesday. It's very exciting. We've also got some very exciting news for you. So, if you're a fan of the chapters of Amala, the brand new chapter, chapter 10, will be available for next Saturday. So exciting. I'll show you sneaky peeks next Wednesday, but not this Saturday. But next Saturday, the 12th, Amala will be at Creating Craft. It's so exciting. I can't wait. So if you are ready for your next chapter, and believe me, these are so exquisite. You're going to love them. Again, totally different. Hi, Tracy. How are you doing? I know. Woo -woo. It's so exciting, isn't it? I just got confirmation today of it. So very, very exciting. So it's all good. Try not to stop anything over. So, what we're doing today, have you previously bought the leaves? Now, these were from chapter, let me think, chapter 7, I believe. I believe it's chapter 7. Look at these beautiful, giant, gorgeous leaves. Hi, Sana, I hope you're doing really well. So, what we're going to do is, I'm thinking, I can smell autumn now, I you can you? You go outside, you can smell autumn's coming. So exciting, it's my absolute favourite time of year. Hi Karen, hope you're doing really well. Um, so I just love the leaves, the colours, the toadstools. So super exciting. So I thought I'd project that into a card that I'm going to create today. So I'll quickly just give you a little sneaky peek of the card that we are going to be creating. So there we go, so should we make it? Let's make it, okay. So, first things first, I've got a five by seven piece of watercolour cardstock. I've simply ripped some book pages just across, so in three different ways like that. Super, super easy, really, really a nice base if you like, okay. So, I'm going to make sure that's the right way up. I'm going to turn you around, how you love your stamps. I know you're the best, alright? Honestly, I cannot wait for chapter 10. It's something very different, something very close to my own heart. Um, some of the images are quite personal, but beautiful and just majestic. You're going to just love them. And of course, it's the size as well, and what you can do with them is just. Right, anyway, back on with the project. <laughs> I just get too carried away, don't I? Let me turn you around. got my wonderful Eureka all ready to go and I've actually found my magnet. Oh, exciting. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take a rectangle which is a lot smaller if so you've got a frame around the edge. You can do this with any shape. And I've put some low tack tape on the back folded over so it's double sided, sticky. And I'm just going to pop that in the centre of my artwork. Now don't worry, we're just using this as a mask so it's not staying there permanently. So then I'm going to take my leaf and I'm going to position it into a position where I get the most coverage from the leaf of the um, actual leaf detail. Don't worry about stamping over this middle panel because like I said, it's a pure mask. So I'm going over, I'm using VersaFine my favourite, straight onto your um, stamp and then simply stamp that piece and just follow it round. So a bit of fingertip counting on the top. Now if it does go over the side you may need to give it a bit of a squish just to get down to cover that detail. So you can there we go. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my cardstock again more ink onto my stamp. I really love this comment. And basically I'm going to manoeuvre the card until I get a good coverage. Let's have a look what we've got here. Let me just move that over a bit more. I don't want them overlapping. That's the one. I'm just going straight in there. This beautiful stamp. Take that off. Rotate again. Find the maximum area, like I said before, that you're going to cover that edge in. So now it's going to stamp again using the same black ink. 
Never mind, we shall prevail. Perfect. And then this final point, I think it's going to have to go. Let's have a look. Oh, no. We just find the right bit. There, I think. There it is. That's the one I'm after. Right there. So once you've got it into position, add your ink to your stamp. Push down. Nice there we go. Right. Okay, let me just take this off. Because that's all the stamp work done. Now we get to the fun bit of the painting. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this off nice and slowly. And you can see already I've got that framed leaf image. Really, really simple. I'm going to take Water and my honey moist paints over here, and we're going to start colouring in. Okay, so I'm going to go for a little bit of orange first of all. Thank you for seeing all of this. And I'm just going to start getting some colour on. Now, with all the Marla stamps, we've done quite a lot of the shading work for you. You'll see that you get these dots, they're your shaded areas, so they're the areas that should be slightly darker and then you blend out with the layer. But I'm just going to get some colour on first of all, in this beautiful corner. And then I'm going to go slightly darker, same colour tone, but then I'm just going over on the dark bits. Really beautiful. Back into my water. I take your brush to make sure that you um, get quite a lot of the water off and you're just using that water to blend that deeper shading colour slightly up. Right, leave that one to dry, we will come back in a second. Let's move on to our next leaf. So I'm going to go for some dark green first of all. And then shady areas. Little wimps, light green. Fill in the other side. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a minute. So now we can start looking at what sort of colours are autumn colours. So we've got the greens, the reds, the browns, oranges. Honestly, it's just endless, isn't it? That you can what you can do with these beautiful leaves, you can't use a redescent. You could even cut them out and make them 3D. So if you've done a double layer and you cut it on top, you could do that. So now I'm coming round. This leaf's going to be a bit of yellow right there. So again, just add in deeper first. And the light is yellow. Super simple. Remember, with all Amala, it's done hard work, so you get to do the fun. So now let's have a look. What colour should we have here? We can go back to orange, but I think we'll go for the brighter orange this time. So exactly the same. Dark up orange first. And the light. Then slightly as we go through. Move along. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little So this is paint straight on watercolour. I am not watercolour paper. I'm not water uh, wetting it first. I'm getting my colour on. Then I'm using my water brush to just drag that colour out. And go over the layers of book paper there as well. So 
how we go around. So I'm going to go back to green up here, I think. Now I'm doing mine quite quick for the video, but I know that obviously you'll spend probably a lot more time building up your detail. Use a beautiful fine round brush like this smaller one. Gorgeous. Alright, so I'm going to go back in a yellow now. Come down here. So nice. Hopefully, there shouldn't be the whooshing sound this week. I found out what it was on my videos. It's the fish tank. So I've turned them off for a little while, so hopefully uh, they'll be fine, I'm not sure. You can separate that colour away from the leaves if you can. This is a bit like an aqua colour. So let's go back now and do some more detail. So orange again. Don't be afraid of painting. Sometimes you just need to get some colour on, have a look go, see how it feels, and work with it. and um, see how it dries. I always say painting with layers and that's how you get your colour paints is the layer work. So allow it to dry. Don't think that one layer is enough. Sometimes you just need to go back fill in that detail. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go make like a baby blue up. Thank 
Yes, this is dirty water I'm using. Of course. You know me. Dirty water is very fun times. Keep using clean water. I mean, I know it's if you want more predominant colour, but I much prefer a little bit of dirty water. It just gives, gives it that out. So then, over there, around again. Just tidying up using that water to blend it slightly. That someone decided to call me. Very rude. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just take black pen, nice and easy, and I'm just going to make a very rough sketch of that square. What this does is just ties it all together. So once you've done your rough rectangle, you're going to start back at the beginning, but this time you're going to overlap it, so you give it a bit of a wiggle as it goes now. Okay. It just gives it that doodle feel. So now I'm going to matte and layer this on very dark chocolate brown and light brown. Put this straight into my card base. Then also on the top, now this is a thirsty brush um, sentiment. I've used book paper underneath, piece of vellum, and then the dark that matches perfectly to the reverse. So again, I'm just going to pop that right at the end of that sentiment. I'm just going to add a few little gems, just a couple, not too many. And there we go. What do you think? that beautiful Imala leaf stamp to create your autumn project. I hope you've enjoyed watching me. Sorry about the noise. I don't know what that is. And remember, next Wednesday, Imala, as good luck, I will be giving you sneaky peeks of the brand new Chapter 10 Imala.
So I look forward to seeing you then, my friends. Take care of yourself and each other. And don't forget, if you want to catch up, it's all on YouTube. See you later. I will be posting sneaky beaks so you can have a good look at this as well. Take care.